Now with an ABC News exclusive with Gage Grosskreis, the sole survivor shot by Kyle Rittenhouse. After an explosive day in court with Rittenhouse breaking down on the stand, Grosskreis joins us alongside his attorney, Kimberly Motley, in his first interview since his dramatic testimony in the murder trial. Gage and Kimberly, thank you both so much for joining me this morning. And Gage, I want to start with you. You were shot in the arm by Kyle Rittenhouse during the protest in Kenosha, Wisconsin last year, while the other two men he shot that night died. With Rittenhouse <clears throat> taking the stand, what did you think of his testimony? Well, I think anytime you see your would-be murderer on the stand, it, it, it's emotional. And what was your reaction to, to him breaking down and crying on the stand? To me, it seemed like a, a child who had just gotten caught doing something that he wasn't supposed to. More upset that he was caught and less upset about what he had done and what he had taken and the numerous lives that he affected through his actions that night. And, and Kimberly, as Gage's lawyer, what, what is your take on what we've seen and heard in the courtroom so far? Well, I think that um, it should be recognized that, uh, you know, Mr. Rittenhouse was an active shooter and that it's important that I believe as you know, Gage has said that some of his testimony was extremely inconsistent. Um, you know, he was not, I believe, in imminent fear of danger for his own life. Um, Gage acted, and, and you know, he was not threatening Mr. Rittenhouse. Uh, Mr. Rittenhouse rewrapped um, his gun with with Gage, and I think that's really, really important that. You know, people need to pay attention to the inconsistent statements from the active shooter or the defendant, Britt Rittenhouse. And, and Gage, you, t you testified and you were injured, but you testified you thought you were going to die that night. Uh, talk to me about what was going through your mind in those moments. I mean, there's a, <laughs> there's a, a million things that run through your mind when somebody's pointing a rifle at you after just having murdered somebody. Uh, first and foremost, I was concern for my safety. I never lost sight of who I am. I'm not somebody who takes a life. I've made a life out of protecting and preserving life, not taking it. And, and speaking of protection, you said that you carried a gun for protection that night and that you pointed it at Kyle Rittenhouse. Why did you point your gun at him? I'm all for the Second Amendment, American citizens' right to bear arms. Um, and I think that during cross-examination, it's, it's hard to say what you want to say. I do believe that in that photo, given the right narrative, um, one could suggest that, yes, I was pointing my weapon at the defendant. Um, but when you play it as a movie or look at different stills, my arm was <laughs> being vaporized as uh, I was allegedly pointing my weapon at the defendant. Uh, it's completely inconsistent uh, with the physiology of my wound that he would have shot me while my weapon was pointed at his head. So here, here you're allowed to say whatever you feel like you, you need to say. So you're saying that you actually didn't, you weren't pointing your gun at him. Is that what you're saying? That's absolutely what I'm saying, yes. And engage. What do you want people to know about this case and, and what happened that night that they may not already know or think that they know? I think the most important thing to remember is that Kyle Rittenhouse was an active shooter. He murdered two men and he attempted to murder me. Gage, Kimberly, thank you both so much for joining me this morning. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Said he wasn't pointing that yeah. gun, so a lot to be said for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.